Welcome to Brute Worm Farms. This video is going to show you the process we use to produce worm castings. To begin with, let's start out in the old peat bog. As you can see, peat is harvested in the winter. In the summer, the ground is too wet for heavy equipment. Once through the frozen sod, the peat is soft, even in the middle of winter. The peat is black, rich, and contains 50% organic matter. Its pH ranges from 6.2 to 6.5. According to the USGS, peat is an important component of plant growing media and the demand for peat generally follows that of horticulture applications. In the US, the outlook is for production to average about 470,000 tons per year. Minnesota is the second ranked state in the nation for peat production. When most people think about peat, they usually think about sphagnum peat because that is what they see in the stores. However, sphagnum peat makes up only about 13% of the total volume. 85% of the volume is reed sedge peat, which is what we're harvesting here. The peat is loaded into trucks to begin its two mile trek back to the brute worm farms. Peat is the most important ingredient in making high quality castings. Being located with close proximity to a very high quality peat source is a strategic advantage for brute worm farms. Enough peat is harvested to last brute an entire year. In the spring, peat will be covered up with a tarp to protect it from the sun. The second factor in making high quality castings is the species of the worm. Bruton, Brute does not claim to be an authority on worm species, but here's our opinion. Seems to be two main choices for the commercial worm farmer, red wigglers or African night crawlers. Brute uses African night crawlers. The advantage of African night crawlers is they seem to produce higher quality worm castings in part because they are voracious eaters and are very thorough when they're eating. The disadvantage seems to be they're diff more difficult to grow. They're very finicky about the conditions they need to thrive. They need to have temperatures above 74 degrees. pH, moisture, the feed source, and the worm's age all need to be managed more closely. When we started, back, started out, we went backward 20% every two weeks. We tell people we've made every mistake you can make. We're Norwegians, so we're kind of stubborn, and now we seem to have a process that works well for us. The advantage of red wigglers is they seem to be more tolerant to diverse conditions. We use red wigglers in our wormhole at home and they survive just fine through all the seasons. If you're going to use worms to compost at home or outside, we recommend red wigglers. The next consideration is where the worms will live. Some farmers use long windows or long beds called continuous flow. The problem is the worms go where they want, not necessarily where the worm farmer wants them to go. Therefore, some of the bedding may not pass through a worm and therefore the castings would not be as pure as with a container system. Brood Worm Farms uses a container based system. Every two weeks the containers are emptied. And the material inside the containers is separated. Castings go to one place, and the worms go a different place, and the cocoons go someplace different. Worms are both male and female. When they mate, they simultaneously impregnate one another. The ring around a worm is called a cotelum, and it slides off the worm to create cocoons like these. Each one of the cocoons has two to seven eggs. moved into a nursery where the eggs hatch and the babies are raised. As you'd expect, they're pretty tiny. Brute uses certified organic grain from a certified organic feed mill. It is more expensive but necessary to create organic worm castings. Some worm farms use food scraps, yard waste, or manure. This might be a good way to biodegrade those waste products but probably won't produce the safest high quality worm castings. Technically, the worms are not eating the peat or the grain. They're eating the decaying organic matter, which results from the grain and the peat. As the material passes through the worms, the microbial life is multiplied and enhanced, which is what makes worm casting special. Managing a large-scale worm farm is serious business. Brute believes that it has developed the most comprehensive worm software in the world. We know exactly what is in every bin at any point in time. The world is moving toward lot tracking to identify problems in the supply chain. Brute knows the origin of all the product in every one of its super sacks. Buying from Brute prepares you for the future. The result of all this attention to detail is rich, dark castings. 
Up close, high quality castings look like mouse poop. If you purchase castings that look like dirt, it's probably because it was more like dirt. Brute worm castings aren't just pretty. They also test high in microbial life. As you can see, they exceed the values for fungi and bacteria and have a ratio of 1.06, which is ideal. Brute castings are also high in flagellates and, ame and amoeba. Soil professionals know worm castings are an important ingredient to building strong soil. Brute works hard to grow the best quality worm castings possible. Give Brute worm castings a try and see the difference for yourself.